guys, it's Talisha, and today I have a video with Izzy. So, I'm so excited for this. I have been doing quite a bit of things on the ground with Izzy, just mainly spending time with her, and I've done some basic groundwork, just like moving her hind quarters, shifting her weight, moving her shoulders, backing up, just little simple things like that. Just to, for me to kind of gauge where she is at with all of that. And she's been going really well. I mean, she has had a whole career of racing, so I expected her to be quite decent with things like that, but you never know. Um, and I'm going to be lunging her for the first time today. Now, she would have been lunged before, I'm sure, plenty of times. So this shouldn't be such a big thing. However, I'm treating it like she's never been lunged before, just so it can purely be as good as an experience as possible for her. So yes, um, I have done like little bits and pieces just on a long lead rope, just seeing how she would go walking around me and how she is with voice cues. She seems very responsive, which is a great sign. So let's go out and get Izzy. Oh, and yeah, I'm sure you already noticed, but my hair, yeah, I have a blue streak. That's about all I have to say about it. But if you noticed, I'm sure you did. Yes, I did dye a blue streak in my hair. That may have been something I did on my 21st. I have never dyed my hair whatsoever before, so yeah. It may have been something I did on my 21st, but yeah, just cute little blue streak, don't mind that. <laughs> it is like a 30 day, 30 washes type dye, so once my hair gets washed 30 times, it will be gone. But yeah, just thought I'd show you that. <laughs> So here I have Izzy, who is not in camera right now. So here is Izzy. So yeah, I'm gonna start by just grooming her and going over with that. The flies are so annoying and I can't be bothered to go get the fly spray, but we're just gonna have to deal with that. Um, I will show you the tool I use for tying up. I have a different rope on it and everything. Oh yeah, Bambi's just kind of chilling in the background there too. What I use for tying is I think they're called like a cool easy no uh, honestly could not tell you the name of this but I bought this specifically for Miss Bambi in the back here because when I got her she had so many issues with pulling back and tying up and this solved the issue so what this is is you can adjust the tension on it and pretty much this is what I will clip onto Izzy here like that and then you can pull this and see it's like so if they pull it it's not just being tight on their pole because the issue i had with bambi was she'd pull back feel the pressure on her pole and just panic and and get, get free no matter how she possibly could no matter what she was tied to even if she was hard tied she broke hitching rings and things like that so i use this and now with izzy because i'm not too familiar with how she ties at the moment like she's never given me any grief she's pulled back a couple times but this has been loose so like as you can see when she pulls back it goes with her and then she eventually stops so i just start on it with it really loose and you can eventually tighten it so it barely moves when they pull back but i mean you never want that kind of tension on a horse's pole it can cause issues if they pull back too hard best thing i've ever bought ever so i do attach this normally i would attach this to a ring or something like a hitching ring. I don't have one here in the paddock and I'm doing her in the paddock just so she's more comfortable. She's got her best friend Bambi right next to her. Um, and I will probably lock Bambi up when I do lunge her. But for this grooming and stuff, we will leave Bambi here. So I hook it up, or I'll hook it up onto here. Unhook the other lead rope. And the gate won't move. So it's fine, it's better than hard tying her to a post. She's quite touchy. It's all right. I'm just going to groom you. Izzy is a very sensitive mare, so she can be a bit funny with little things, fast movements. She's very, she can get quite worried. try and make an effort of touching her face especially her ears every time I'm with her because she does not like it and she's very worried especially about her ears she's also getting quite annoyed at the flies 
Good girl. It's all right. It's all right. Good girl. I think I just got bitten by a fly. As you can see, Bambi gets very jealous and quite often tries to get involved in the grooming. She is a very, very jealous horse. I do also always try to make an effort to brush her mane when I do groom her. I don't really do this with every horse, but she gets very, very sensitive with her mane. She's not a big fan of it being brushed. And the knottier it is, the more she dislikes it. So hence why I try to do it every time I groom her. As well as giving her treats while I do it. So she will hopefully start to enjoy it a bit more. involved in this no <laughs> no 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 this is not your training session she's like please no please can it be can it be my training session Switch to Bambi. Just wanted to watch Bambi the whole time, apparently. So yes, this Bambi's sweet. All right. The last thing I will do before I lunge her, but I will put the lunge line on her for this, is I'm just gonna use some water spray. I'll just grab the lunge rope and then I'll do it. I sprayed her the other day for the first time. I just put my shoulder out doing that. Um. And. It was a bit of a disaster, which I was not expecting. So I didn't have her tied up just in case anyway. She absolutely lost it. And I mean like completely lost it. So let's switch it around on her. Um, doesn't help that this thing's in the way. It's gotten so much better with this. If you followed the journey with her from the very start, you know that I couldn't even touch her head here before. And now I can. And her ears, good girl. Do you want the carrot? Do you want the treat? Good girl. So that's a really big deal. And she does occasionally, there we go, start to lower her head when I do the front of her head. The forelock is still a work in progress. We still have not brushed the forelock. Um, she's much more happy with my hand on her face rather than her head. There we go, just touched her forelock. That's massive for her, but like she is with the top of her mane, she's not a big fan of it being brushed. So I'm just getting her used to me literally just running my fingers through it. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, Bambi's not too far. So now we will do the spray and see how she goes. Now it was funny. She had the initial reaction where she absolutely lost it. She actually got away from me on the first time. Then the second time I refused to let her go. So I got a really, really bad rope burn on my left hand. I don't want her thinking she can get away from me. And if I was to let her go again, I know that it just wouldn't be good. So, um, but then after that, she was fine. It was very strange 
initial complete freak out. I didn't even touch her with it, keep in mind. I was just spraying it near her. So I'm gonna try it again. Um, this is just water and all I'm gonna do is spray it to the side of her. Good girl, good girl. Hey, 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 you're okay, you're all right. See, look, 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 look. Good girl, good girl, you're all right. Excuse how I'm giving her carrots, it's not the easiest thing. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, see, yeah, you can sniff it. Good girl. So at least with doing this with the lunge rope, I'm not gonna, I have more rope to hold on to. Go in front of her. Good girl. Now, a bit higher. And now I'm just gonna spray her legs. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right. And after she had her freak out, I ended up being able to spray her whole body, which by the looks of it is what I'll be able to do now. Good girl. Too many horses are terrified of sprays and you just can't spray them with anything. And it is the one thing I cannot stand because especially in summer, as you can see, she's getting cranky with the flies, how it is. And not being able to spray fly spray on a horse is very annoying. I had the issue with Kai, where I could never put spray on him. So as soon as I had that reaction from her, I was like, no, we're not, we're not doing that. Good girl. I'm not gonna do the face. The face is a delicate spot for this horse. Um, not gonna push our luck with that. Good girl, yeah. I am gonna do her tail, back legs. In between the legs. Good girl. Well done, Izzy. It's okay. I'm not going to do your face. As you can see, she's just very, very nervous about her head. Very nervous. And I'm just saying, for a horse to be head shy, horses aren't just naturally head shy. There is a reason that she has developed this reaction with her head and why she doesn't want me touching her head. She's got her reason for whatever it may be from her past. She is worried about it. She's not being nasty. She's not just trying to be a pain and to annoy me. She is genuinely unsure and nervous about it. But she has come so far with that. And I'm so proud of her. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, you have, you really have. Go into the middle and we'll see if we can keep Bambi away she might just keep to herself and if she does that would be the best outcome because Izzy will be more comfortable if Bambi is around Bambi don't knock that over Bambi no do not <laughs> this horse just you can stand and watch but we're not knocking over the tripod don't, don't do it. All right, you're probably gonna fall over in two seconds. Can you just keep to yourself? Yeah? <laughs> so a few things I noticed with lunging Izzy, which you can see right there, she's very, very responsive, almost too responsive to the swing of the lunge rope. So I did also notice with her that she is, <laughs> notice how good Bambi is. I know this horse really well now and if, and I knew as soon as she was going to come in that once she realized the lunge rope was coming back around, she'd leave. And then Izzy started trotting <laughs> and Bambi's like, oh, okay. Bambi literally stood to the side the whole entire time and just watched from a distance. Like she's so good. Um, she knows not to get in the way. She tried like to come over and stand near me, then realized, and that's the only time she actually somewhat got in the way. So the first thing I, w <laughs> you can see her there, that's all she did apart from coming over to the tripod. But um, you can notice straight away that Izzy just wants to trot and this is not uncommon for ex-race horses because a lot of the time when they are lunged, if they are lunged, 
they are shoved straight into a trot or a canter. Well, not not a canter, but you know, they're trotting straight away. They don't do a lot of walking. Depends on the trainers, some will, but a lot of the time they get them straight into a trot because the reason they're trotting is to just get them fitter, get some energy out of them, whatever it may be. A lot of the time they don't get lunched before they ride because they have walkers and things like that. Lunging is not normally a very common practice done with horses at the track unless they're trying to get them to lose more weight or it's a rainy day and they can't go on the track. So a lot of the time it's just at a trot and a canter. So the first thing I was doing was getting her to walk, then I asked for her to trot and then I just brought her back a bit. So I was doing a lot of trot and walk and trot transitions. So I let her trot for a bit, then I will ask her to go back to a walk and just made sure I had voice commands. She's very, very responsive to the voice commands, which was really helpful. And then you'll say I asked for a trot again, and she goes straight away. I clicked for the trot. I didn't move my hand at all. The only time I tried to raise my hand is if she didn't respond to my first cue, which was the voice. Because she does, yeah, she is very responsive to the movement of my hand with the rope. So here I'm asking her to stop. I used my voice at first. She didn't respond. So I've put my arm up and I'm trying to stand in her way a bit, just go in front of the shoulder and she walks. Um, and she did try stop thinking she was going to come in. I just asked her slowly to move on. So you can see a very slight movement of the rope and she started trotting straight away. So then I bring her back to a walk. No, I don't. Apparently, I kept her trotting. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing apparently <laughs> when I'm doing these voiceovers. So I keep her trotting and then asked her to canter. She gave me a little bit of a canter. And then she stopped. I didn't ask her to stop, so I made her canter again. She was really, really good on this side. No problems at all. I have a bad habit, as you can see, as walking quite a lot when I lunge, but... That's something I need to fix myself. And when I'm focusing on a horse that I've never lunged before, sometimes I forget about myself. <laughs> so yeah, I brought her back to a trot. Then I tr brought her back to a walk just to make sure I still have that command. And then I asked her to trot again. Just very responsive. It really makes things easier. Then I asked her to walk again. Just doing heaps of transitions. And then I asked her to trot again. Very, very responsive horse. Always listening. And then again, because I think it's just such an important thing to do with horses, especially when you're new to them on the lunge and stuff. Just it, I do this under the saddle as well. When I first will get on her, it'll be a lot of stopping and starting. Just making sure I have all the commands, especially the stop. The stop is the most important thing <laughs> in on the ground and on the horse's back because the last thing you want is a horse that won't stop. And you can get so many problems from that. <laughs> then I asked her for a bit of a bigger trot. Just to see if I could get it out a bit more. And then I asked her for a canter. And she went really, really nicely. Keep in mind she's been out. Oh yeah, here we go. Pivo going over to Bambi. And Bambi's about to knock over my camera. Whoop, bye. Thank you, Bambi, for that. Let's try again. I'm just going to do a little bit more going this way because I just want to do that canter one more time and then I'm switching directions. So I hadn't quite finished on this side, I just wanted to go around one more time. Um, which is what I'm about to do, but as I was going to say before Bambi knocked over my tripod um, See how responsive she is there like just the slightest little thing and She responds straight away um, So I just need to be very careful with my cues with the rope and only really use it when I absolutely need to when she doesn't respond to a voice cue um, But yeah, keep in mind this horse has been out of work for four months and she has only been worked on the track so she's four years old just recently turned four this year and the only education she has is whatever she did on the track so i was just getting a couple more canters out of her pivo keeps trying to go over to bambi <laughs> but yeah she was really really good on this side and here i asked her to stop and to come in where she's a bit like um 
What do you want me to do? Oh, right, you want me to come? Okay, I guess. <laughs> so then she comes into me, which she was still a bit unsure about doing. And I just gave her a treat and a pat before going over to the next side. And you're about to see Bambi take all of the <laughs> glory again. <laughs> Hi, Bambi. You're in the way yet again. Just always wants to be in front of the camera. Yep, here we go. <laughs> this is the horse, Pivo. This is the... No, don't follow that one. Don't follow that one. This one. This one. Yeah, that one. So I haven't included as much footage on this side just because she's virtually the same. Like, there was so little issues like very unproblematic literally nothing went wrong I have I did notice that she tends to lean on this side a bit um she was doing it quite a lot in this and then she didn't want to can it as much on this side however I've lunged her since and did not have the same issue I do have the issue of her leaning a bit still which is a bit strange considering uh race horses in New South Wales are run on this leg they ran clockwise so I would have thought this would be her stronger side yet she was kind of um pulling a bit like leaning and it was just a bit strange but I do want to get my body worker out to see her very soon and she will be seeing the dentist as well as Bambi is due to see the dentist so he'll check her out and just to make sure that there's no underlying issues as to why she's like this but as I said I've lunged her since and she was good for the canter still leaning a bit on that side which as I said is weird because I thought it would be her stronger side so as expected she was really good. She's very tired now, e extremely unfit because that was no longer than 10 minutes. <laughs> um, probably even less. So she isn't too keen on candering on the right side, um, on the right lead, which is interesting because the right leg is typically the leg that they are racing on. So I'm not too sure why that is. Um, what I'll do next time when I lunge her is I'll start her on the right side and see if I can get a bit more of a canter out on that right leg. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give her a hose off and that'll be it because she's absolutely pooped and very sweaty. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video of me lunging Izzy for the first time. It was extremely unproblematic, which is what I love. I know the flies are really annoying you now that you're sweaty. But yes, so I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!